former State Department official Thomas Smitham, has been named chief of the U.S. Business Development Unit at aerospace and defense conglomerate Leonardo. Anthony Robbins, vice president of the federal business at NVIDIA, accepted his fifth WASH 100 award, the highest honor in government contracting, from executive Mosaic CEO Jim Garrison. Visit wash100.com to read the exclusive profile for Robbins' recent award win. Textron's Bell subsidiary has secured a five-year, $228.2 million contract to incorporate system configuration changes into the U.S. Navy's H-1 light attack helicopter fleet. The GSA has released requests for proposals for historically underutilized business zone and service disabled veteran-owned small business pools of the Polaris contract vehicle for IT products and services. NASA has started soliciting proposals for a program that aims to build and demonstrate astronaut moon landers for future Artemis lunar missions. Space exploration company Intuitive Machines has agreed to go public as part of a planned merger with blank check company Inflection Point Acquisition Corporation. The UK government has approved Viasat's proposed acquisition of Inmarsat under the National Security and Investment Act. Lidos will continue its engineering and technical support of the U.S. Navy's synthetic signature generation-based training systems under a six-year, $83.3 million contract. Join GovkinWire's events fireside chat with Nadine Alame, CEO of the Open Geospatial Consortium, OGC, on September 21, 2022. Visit govc on wire.com events. Beacon Global Strategies has hired four former government officials, who will bring their knowledge of national security matters, to the company's advisory work in various practice areas. The U.S. Army is seeking additional vendors capable of providing high-performance computing, in support of research, development, test and evaluation efforts of Department of Defense organizations.